Wow. <laughs> it feels like I've been sleeping for what? Year and a half? Year and a half, right? Two years, actually. Well, well that two, we started our adventure two years ago. Like, a year and a half ago is when I last went to bed. I mean, I, I almost died. Well, see, that's the thing, Gabe. Uh, you were in cryostasis that whole time. Um, it has been two years, and I'm still a child. We need to go fix that at the Fountain of uh, Not Youth. Oh, okay. So, guys, welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Uh, wait, wait, I know wait, we started wait, hold on, with. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I see a very big problem here. What? You said blue rescue team. We were playing red rescue team. Did your ego change the color of the goddamn game? <laughs> no, because I updated it to blue. Because honestly, this is a better game. It's the DS equivalent. And wait, wait, wait. so you're admitting that I was right in the beginning that blue version was the better version? Mm, blue is best color. That's all I have to say on that matter. Suck a dick. <laughs> but um. Back anyway, to what I was ladies saying, and gentlemen, w welcome to the post game. Yeah. Uh, this is where shit gets very non-linear. Yeah, guys, after a huge gap, I know I said this might take a few months to do, but a year and a half later, we're finally doing it. This is on my DS capture card, well, 3DS capture card, I guess. And I, we're finally here, after all this time. Yep. I, this is a good feeling. Um, and he we, made me wait all this time so I could become a goddamn Charizard. The thing is that, A... We actually tried it, like, I had to, of course, play back this entire game thus far, and that was a little bit, you know, time-consuming, and then we tried recording, something went wrong, and I was stupid and saved, so I had to replay the entire game again. So now that we're finally finished, and it's the two-year anniversary of our first Let's Play, let's finally get started. You Woot. know, a couple minutes in. <laughs> yeah, it took you long enough, you wouldn't leave your goddamn- oh. Woo! Caterpie! Hey, it's your stalker! What's the matter, guys? It's Snubble! Snubble! There's something weird going on! Snubble's weird? What's new? <laughs> he looks completely different! Blue, let's go to the square. Yeah, because that's where all the squares hang out. Uh, yeah. That's not the square. We passed the square. Hey, Alkazam. So, uh, what's with the uh, freaky looking uh, dog creature next to you? Have you seen Snubble? Uh, I heard something strange happen to him. Did he get into the good kush? I am oh. Snubble. Okay, time out. That's not a Snubble if I ever did see one. Did you become I some kind of gay fairy? I don't really understand either. I went into that cave there and all of a sudden... Wait, there's a cave? Is there treasure in that cave? I it appears to. without me noticing. See, right there. What? How did we not notice that before? Because it was actually covered up by uh, stone platforms. Fair enough. So you went in there... And now you have a honking massive jaw. Yep, and I came out looking like this. He Evolution. He evolved. So wait, Darwin was right? <gasps> Pokemon upon certifying certain conditions may revolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, its appearance changes. Huh. So we can change? As in I, like how, I like how Alakazam says that when he's obviously a fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, I no, 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 in this universe, apparently you're born uh, fully evolved, like Alakazam. Uh, no, because in the second game, there's a father Pokemon and its child. Yeah, the second game has nothing to do with this one. It's kind okay. of like Zelda games. Nah, the, those actually have more to do with each other than you think. Uh, so this is all exposition. What this is about is that we can finally evolve. Yep. Uh, this cave is just saying that... Everyone can grow up and become more powerful. Yeah, y'all gotta grow up sometimes, kids. So when you're growing up, make sure you do it in a dark cave where no one else is around. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound suggestive. Yep. Remember, kids, dark, cold, wet places are your friends, so put yourself all the way inside. Shut up, Justin. Never. Uh, there's only room for one of us, so bye, Justin! Dick! No, but seriously, uh, now that we're in the post game, we can actually do something unique. We you can, can go act into adventures alone now, which means you can have a party consisting of just one. Or at least I. You can't. Thought? You can't. How do I? No, I can't visit your. Oh, you don't have my friend area, I think. Yeah, I th either I need to go talk to. Talk uh, to the 
talk to the fairy man. Wigglytuff. Which one's... No, 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 we start out with our friend areas. Mm. Uh, well, then I guess we, we just to... need a little more exposition then. Yeah, maybe we have to talk to Wishcash or something? No. If this is what I think it is, then it... either we need to try and go to a dungeon, or we need to go to a dungeon and finish up a mission. I'm not sure. But I know it doesn't happen right away after you finish the game. No, it, they're telling me to go inside. Uh... T mm. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. I got an idea, got an idea. How do I... Uh... Dicks. Whoa, wait. Hi, Raven. Whoa, wait, talk to Raven. Go back! Go back! That's not the right place. You got the wrong place, buddy. Not Mew. No, no Mew. Darkness Ridge. I don't fucking know. I haven't played this game forever. What about him? Damn it, no, it's not there. So we do need to go into a dungeon. Are you sure? Yeah, here's the thing. In order to get access to the new team thing, I think a day has to pass by. So we need to... Oh. Yep, there we go. What? I knew you had Why to go... Would... <laughs> They're assuming you just want to run off and do shit. Okay. So I have an idea. Instead of us running things all the time, we should let the team do as a whole. How about we change things so we can pick the leader members to go inside the dungeons? That might even... Da -da. So basically what they're saying is that anyone can be the leader of the party now, and not only that, but... You can also switch up what your team is. So essentially now he can go into dungeons without me if he wants to be a prick about it. Uh, well, there are some dungeons that actually require you to be alone. Yeah. All right. Now. So, now we can, so now we can switch up leaders, and you can, and this also means you can now solo things. Actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You don't. I don't think you need to go into thing here. Go into team. Stand by. Stand by. All right. There you go. What? <laughs> yeah. You are now free to roam. The no, it teleported me. <laughs> well, yes. Justin. Give me all the gummies, you son of a bitch. Justin. Is it finally my time? Justin, it's your time to eat a red gummy. Fucker. I want to be in charge for once. Justin. Oh, hey, I finally learned not to stab you in the ass. Yay! I am the leader of the team now. Yeah, you're going to be leader for a bit. Wait, wait, wait. What? How can I walk on water? It should be burning me. Or uh, it's v No, as you can tell, it's like the most shallow water. Well, fire types are still weak to water. I mean, a Bulbasaur can't exactly touch fire, and apparently a fucking Squirtle's allergic to grass. Yeah, but as we've learned, uh, Charmander can be rained on as long as its tail doesn't go out. So now, finally, after all of that... I shall become emanates. the mightiest of Durgans. A voice emanates from somewhere. Ye who seek awakening, this is Luminous Cave. Do you seek a new evolution? Let's get some... No, I'm just kidding. Will Funny. we give an item for an evolution? No. Ye who seek awakening, let us begin. Scott is undergoing changes. Do, do, Scott's do, do, appearance do, changed. Do, do, it evolved do, from Charmander do, to Charmeleon. Wait, what level am I? Uh, 33? Damn it. I'm stuck in the awkward tween phase. I'm gonna see. Because this game does a lot of things differently. Nope. Yeah, it's 36. Alright. I just wanted to be sure, because, you know, you can never quite be sure about that. But now, you kind of look more powerful. Yeah. I Honest. have that bright, angry red color. Yes. Yes, you do. Mag can, you, can you hear that? Yeah. I'm so sorry that you can hear that. The audience could probably hear it, too. Um, rub a dub river. Rub a dub dub. I like to scrub. <laughs> what are you, some kind of scrub? No, that would be you since you're in rub a dub river. All right. Anyway, interesting fact: you can actually go to a uh, luminous cave through the dungeon menu. I think, or that might be in the second game. Uh, that's. I, I don't think that's a thing. I'll check now. 
Again, it might be in the second game. I don't recall. Nope. Huh. I remember at some point you could do that. I'm guessing it's in the second game. Probably. Uh, for now, I'm going to head down here. And I have a few things to show off before I evolve myself. Because, yes, I can evolve. Uh -huh, I know what's that coming. Um, I have to drop off all these things. Since, so I can the... fill up it, since he can now fill up his inventory with gummies. Yes, yes folks, he has that many. Um... Now, here it comes. These are all normal things, like decent, like, okay, I have a bunch of things, right? He still oh. does not have an x-ray scarf. X-ray specs. Oh. I'm sorry, but x-ray specs are more impressive than anything. By the way, you know you can take out multiple of those at once, right? No, you can't, not in the first one. Yeah. This that's is, that's this the second game you're thinking of. Uh, see, this is why I miss the innovations of sequels. Yeah. Uh, this is all one by one, and it was always annoying to me that it was one by one. I trust me, I've tried hitting every button. Did, have you tried hitting your belly button? I hadn't thought of that. Uh. Nope, didn't work. If it to if it had worked and you just pulled off all of your gummies at once, I would have laughed my ass off. Even more than I can carry? Yep. You just I just get five boxes full. You just have a whole... You just see his... A new model of him holding a tower of, of gummies trying to waddle everywhere without spilling any. It's all lovely gummies. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna give you ten red gummies, and then I'm gonna give myself some in a bit. Now, back up here, we're finally gonna get to me evolving. I know we're already like ten minutes in this video, but I don't even care. I'm just really excited. We're they finally no doing this. Be a retarded crocodile. Undergoing changes, Blue's appearance changed and evolved from Totodile to Crocana. And he now has a, an egg diaper loincloth pattern on his body. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> Still, the middle evolutions all have that awkward tween look to them. So, this is how much money I have currently. Guess what? It's nowhere near what I need. I did the math, Justin. I need like 150,000 more. Gabe, I was there when you did the math. Well, no, I did a little bit more math and figured that it wasn't that full amount. It, because Long story I... short, folks, he needs a million. No, I need 180000 to buy everything, which I've already spent 20000 on, Gabe, I think. Gabe, no, 17000 if you had a million, you would buy it all. Therefore, yes, you still need a million. Shut up, Justin. <laughs> I'm not wrong. You are very wrong. You're sick and wrong. No, Gabe, if I were sick, I would have uh, Jeff voice cracks. Fair enough. Frigid Cavern. And now... Not to I mention, uh, also, something else that came to mind. Technically, you can also uh, sell a bunch of ribbon items in your inventory so that, to get uh, more money. Yeah, I have more money than what I currently have, because I have a lot of items that can sell the extra stuff. Including mm -hmm. several gold ribbons. Yeah, that's... I know. I was kind of going to be bringing that up in a minute, but you beat me to it. I beat you at a lot of things, Gabe. Wow, Justin, that's special abuse, I think. I should call the cops. Hey, hey, hey. We're only married during the Let's Plays. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, wait, no, I don't want to do anything here. Gummies, right? Yeah. All right. Let's head off on an adventure. Or we could not, because I have a bunch of gummies to give you. Now let's see you grow in stats and become more useful by the moment. Which, actually, I will say that you've been getting a lot of critical hits recently and sniping people, so it's actually decent. Hey, hey, I am the team sniper. IQ went up, defense raised by one, that's good. Special, Special defense, defense raised by one. Attack, attack raised by one. Good. Special, Special attack. Oh, okay, I can definitely use special attack. Oh, so here. Special defense. Special defense. Special defense. Special, Special attack. attack. Defense. You almost said special defense. Quick dodger. Nice. Special defense. I was predicting the next one. Oh, okay. Type advantage, Type advantage master. master. And special nice. attack. Awesome. Join the team. That's what you get for now. When I get some more, I'll give them to you. By the way, uh, interesting fact about... Um, uh, this game in particular, since it, I'm pretty sure it still follows those rules, because this is Gen 3, 
I'd fall as Gen 3 Battle Logic, which means all of my fire moves are special moves. So say, for example, if by some miracle I could learn Flare Blitz, it would be a special move. Uh, not all fire moves, but most, like Ember, Flamethrower, those are all special moves, but I'm pretty sure Fire Punch and things are considered a uh, physical attack. Nope. I think that I... The physical special split didn't happen till Gen 4. What's the... that Gen 4? Positive is Gen 4. I know we had this conversation during the Let's Play, so I'm going to assume that we went with it being Gen 4. Yeah. Attack race by one. Um, Defense race by one. Alright, I'm going to play as me, the leader, because I like playing as me. Yep. <laughs> I don't oh. want to play you, Justin. Never going to give you up. Never going to let 51, 51. Alright, so your defense is two behind me, but that's not bad. And my special attack is through the roof. That's with a thing, but yeah, this. Anyway, so Gaben, what you're going to want to do is talk to Medichan. Uh, no, I'm not. Gaben. Talk Justin, to me, Jan. Justin, there's still plenty of stats to be gained. This is going to be a little cut out for here because, honestly, I have a lot of things to get. You mean a lot of gummies to feed people? Wait, don't forget to give some gummies to Raven. Fair enough. I forgot about him. How dare you forget about our friend who can't be in this LP because raisins? Because his computer went kapooey and a lot of other things kapooey, happened. Kapooey, his computer straight up exploded, dog. Yeah. You pissed off the Kecleons. We'll see what happens with that later. Wish you could sell multiple things. Gold ribbon. By the way, folks, eventually I will convince Gabe to rob a Kecleon shop. It's going to be I, funny. I will eventually rob a Kecleon shop, and I'll run like a bitch. <laughs> Gabe, this, honestly, depending on where you do it, if you're like me and like to live dangerously, do it in a place that, where you can walk over tiles that Kecleons can't, like water or uh, lava. Yes, but it will kill you. No, 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 because uh, fire types can walk over lava without being damaged, and water types can wa walk over water without being damaged. Yes, but you, we cannot, they're mutually exclusive. Just because I'm in the party, you can't walk over water. I mean, it would kill you. Well, this is why you go in alone when you route the Kecleons. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, Raven. Join the team. Give gummies. I've been giving Raven a lot of gummies this uh, playthrough. Trying to get his IQ up higher than ours was and his stats up some because... Raven isn't as good a uh, stat-wise as we are. We're starters. We have higher stats normally. Yeah. It's kind of a thing. Um, a lot of people prefer to use Absols as special attackers. Well, they can be either special or physical attackers, so it's a matter of what you want to have him do. Okay, defense up. Type advantage master. I mean... When we were catching up in this game, he was getting crazy good with those quick attacks. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Alright. Now, I'm gonna but, head into... By the way, folks, since we had to redo this twice, we had to redo the Rayquaza fight multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. Luckily, none of my jinxing happened again. Justin. Look, folks, for those of you who don't know... During the final part of the LP, d during the Rayquaza fight, some may remember that I cursed Gabe. It actually works! I had over a week of editing to put that piece by piece back together. That footage was so broken. It was so broken that I literally had to take frame by frame the entire video. He killed it. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say killed it, because if you killed it, we would have had to re-record it. You killed it. I had to I had to bring it back from the grave. The only reason I didn't do that for the last recording was because we weren't in the middle of a Let's Play, and honestly, I just wasn't happy with it, and it was an audio issue. 
So instead, I just decided to scrap it and redo it all. Yeah. Okay. Now, since I just did all that, we're evolved and everything. Guys, I know this wasn't very eventful, but next time, let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's Blue Rescue Team. We're going to be going into the actual post-game stuff. We're going to be actually going into dungeons. So... Which will be fun, I do promise you, because the first dungeon we are going to be going in, uh, into in the linear lineup is gonna be hell. Yep. <laughs> so guys, see you guys next time. By the way, it looks like you're revving up to punch somebody in your idle animation. Yeah, well to be fair, you just brought that up, so my, even my sprite's ready to punch you. Your pr sprite can't punch me, I'm nowhere near you. We will be in the dungeon. Gabe, you learned non-traitor. You can't- I can turn it off. Bullshit!